Hey you guys, this is Beth from Dainty Daisy Merchandise. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I'm a part-time reseller and a stay-at-home mom. This week we will be doing a Goodwill Blue Box unboxing. This box is from Nashville, Tennessee, and I have a love-hate relationship with Nashville. Sometimes they are amazing, and honestly, lately they have been very good. So I'm gonna hold on to hope that this is another good one from Tennessee. First look, ooh, I'm looking at maybe some pretty glass beads. I love the color, maybe some more color in here, maybe some vintage pieces. We're gonna go ahead and set this to the side and we will dig in. Thank you all for participating in our March giveaway. Our big 5K giveaway is gonna be this month. Thank you all so much for my new subscribers, for all your guys' love and support. And as always, be sure to check the description below to find out all my information if you're interested in a piece. You can check out my shops. You can also email me. And let's go ahead. It looks like we've got some tangles already. To be expected from Tennessee, it's usually a tangled mess. All right, let's... All right, this is going to be a tasseled necklace with lots of chains. Long pendant here, very long pendant. Let's see if I can get it all in the shot here. Very long, looks to be in pretty good condition though. Different kind of chain styles in here. Very, very long, mystery hair. I like the green stone color in there. And I will do this one for $2. Got another hair in there. I will definitely have to clean this out. You're going to find your best prices here on my YouTube channel. I always try to give my subscribers the best deals. All right, this is almost giving me like an A shape. All right, I'm not really liking the discoloration on that metalwork, so I'm going to put this one in a lot. If you're interested in a lot piece, I do sell lot pieces. I also sell lot boxes. So you are welcome to email me for those pieces. All right, we're starting off good here with Tennessee. Lots of tangles. We're going to start an earring pile. All right, let's look at this one. It's the least tangled up one. Okay, that's a Premier Designs logo love this necklace it is gorgeous really loving this glass beads and look at the like teardrop almost it looks like maybe some pearl look in there really loving the colors on this one and some of these premier designs can go for a pretty penny so be sure to do your research on these items if you are reselling and if you guys have any tips of course please leave a comment below I will do this one for 15. Very gorgeous, excellent condition. Chain's looking really nice as well. I will also love if you guys could leave a comment on what you guys would like for the 5K giveaway. I've been kind of asking your guys' input the last couple of videos to see what you guys would like. You guys have given me some awesome ideas already, but I would love to hear from you guys. So be sure to leave that comment below on what you would like to see for a 5K giveaway. All right, I do like the iridescent stones on here. The metal looks, let's see if it's magnetic. Let's say it's giving me like a sterling look, but I don't see any markings on there. Or maybe just a coating over it, some kind of plating. I'll do this one for $3. We're going to just see if we can get through some of these tangles. I like this chain right here. This is very shiny with that rose gold look. Earrings are always fun. They always get tangled into everything, especially these hook earrings. I'm going to put that one in a lot. All right, see that little hook was just holding all of this together. I right, love the shine on this one. 
loving those jewels look at that so shiny definitely looking like some costume with that metal on the back here it is magnetic i will do this one for five dollars gorgeous All right, next, this is giving me maybe like an Indian style with more earrings. Tennessee is ridiculously notorious for single earrings, in my opinion. All right, I like the necklace. And I will do this one for $3. All right, bangle. I'll do this one for one dollar. All right, this is a new a tag. Looks like it says it's for fifteen dollars retail. Still got the new tag logo, so those are always good for reselling. People love those new tags. Comes with the earrings and the necklace. I'll do this one for five dollars. Some nice pieces so far. Not too bad, Tennessee. A lot of people saying that these boxes have been really great lately. I have to agree. If you haven't watched my other recent videos, be sure to check them out. There has been some incredible boxes lately. Mother of Pearl. Pendant there. The chain and... Chain not looking great on this one. But I like the pendant. I'll do this one for $1. Right, there is some kind of marking on here. All right, S-O. All right, there's hair and these beads have some of that discoloration. So I'm going to put that one in a lot. Chain's going to go in a lot. This is a pretty necklace. It almost has like a rosebud on there. Korea. Get lots of those Korea necklaces. I'll do this one for $3. I do hold orders for up to two weeks. So if you want to hold some of your items, I will hold them for you to help with shipping costs. I'm going to get this untangled eventually. <laughs> like trying to pick it away slowly. And these are so tangled in there. This looks like it may be a sterling, maybe. Mm. I'm getting a better look at it. It doesn't look. We'll see. See if I can get it undone. This pearl is like very stuck. There we go. All right. I like this heart. It almost looks like maybe an anklet. Definitely plated and magnetic. So I will do this one for $1. All right, earring, adding it to the pile. All right, long necklace here. I'm not going to take too much time untangling it. it. Does look like it has some scuffs on there. I'm going to put this one in a lot. 
I also sell jewelry jars. So if you guys are interested in some of the higher end pieces that are grouped together or some vintage pieces that are grouped together, you guys be sure to check out my shops. I've just started listing those again. Just kind of getting back into the swing of things. Having lots of listings, new available items. So if you haven't looked at my shops recently, be sure to do that. All right, so this is a Tennessee bracelet or necklace. All right, we've got the jeweled Tennessee necklace here. All the jewels seem to be intact. Pendants magnetic, but the necklace is not. I'll do this one for one dollar. It's got some wear on the metal. Wire necklaces are always tangled into everything. I'll do this one for one dollar. Okay, it looks like just a leather hook necklace. Here's this guy that got tangled into everything as well. Looks like maybe aluminum with a pearl. I did that one for one dollar. Right, this is another one giving me a little bit of that sterling look. Checking for any of those markings. These bracelets, especially with these designs, can sometimes be a little sneaky finding those markings on there. So always try to look a couple times. It's not magnetic. Bends fairly easily. I will have to do some further testing on this one, but I'm thinking probably in the eight to twelve dollar range for that one. It looks like we might have some type of maybe tongue ring, or I don't think you could put that maybe in your belly button. We'll add it to the earring piles. All right, looks like we might have a matching earring to one of those aluminum type necklace. All right, we've got a little twist over here. All right, the clasp doesn't look that great. The necklace itself though is looking in pretty decent shape. I'll do this one for $2. All right. Dangle earring. Maybe a matching earring to that necklace we just saw. It's all tangled up, but Looks like it matches that other one. I get a lot of chains from Tennessee as well. So I've gotten pretty good at untangling those chains. All right, I like the copper pendant. I'm not too fond of this necklace or the chain. I'm not too fond of that chain. Looks like it might have been the same color as this at one point. I like the copper and the turquoise look on that. These always give me like a pirate, pirate vibes. It's got the crosses and the pearls. Not too fond of the chain again. So I'm gonna put that one in a lot. All right, that's an earring. Made in China tag. All right, looks like we found our first match. That maybe went with that necklace. It's always exciting when you find any matches from Tennessee. I'm always thrilled and shocked. I like that earring. Lovely beadwork on there. Don't think it's silver. Oh my goodness. Look at this dangle. Oh my lord. Tennessee is just a very interesting, always just interesting boxes. Let's just say that. And I've also been breaking my videos into part one and part two just to kind of shorten the links for you guys. So you guys let me know how you guys have been feeling about part ones and part two videos so they're not quite so long. 
They go from about 30 minutes instead of about an hour. So you guys let me know what you think. I like the braided design on this bangle and I'll do this one for $3. Large, very classic statement necklace. You know, maybe from the Y2K look. So I'll do this one for $1. And don't lose hope if you get a lot of costume pieces. You know, I get a lot of costume pieces. They're probably one of my top selling items is just no name costume pieces. If you like it, I suggest that you try and sell it. Okay, Jane and Marie. It's got this lovely large pearl. I don't think I've heard of that brand, Jane and Marie. I like the beads though. I'll check that brand, but I'm thinking I'll sell this one for about $8.00. I got the large. Let's see, maybe it's made out of like clay or plastic. More hair. Always get lots of hair from Tennessee too, which I never see as a good thing. I do not want mystery hairs. Always be sure to wash your hands when you get done. I think that's a given. All right, this is giving me almost like an amber look. Beautiful. You can check that amber with the with those lights, the UV lights. I like this one though. I'm thinking it's just plastic beads. Let's test with our Presidium. All right, it's going up in glass a little bit. I don't think that Amber would register. I don't think so. All right. Registering in glass. I'll do this one for $8 as well. All right, I'm just like dreading this nonsense right here. So we're just gonna go around this. All right, this is marked $50, let's see. All right, this says $50 Inspire Designs. What else does it say? Glory for the Soul. Lovely pendant. So maybe it's just the brand. It's kind of just a leather band with this very large, maybe crystal type pendant. Registering up in the glass just a little bit. You always want to lay your stones on the table and test them. I'm trying to be better about that for you guys. All right, uh, I'll have to look up this brand, but I would normally sell this probably in the, you know, $12 to $20 range. So we'll see. It does have the new tags, so that's always a bonus. I rarely get new tags from Tennessee. So this is already exciting box. I'll take new tags. All right, some more tangles in there. Not too bad. Very classic early 2000s necklace. I'm not fond of the chain though, so I'm gonna put that one in a lot. I'm gonna cross, blessed. I'm gonna put that one in a lot. Shalom. And that is Jewish. Little clay with a leather. Beautiful pendant, lovely design on there. Next we have this very shiny earring attached to a, a necklace and also, this tiny little bracelet that would probably fit my little girl. You guys know I love setting things aside for my little ones. So this one will most likely go to her. Try to let my kids join in on my jewelry fun as much as I can. I think they enjoy it just as much as I do. 
my Claire's, very shiny. Set that one aside for my little one. Anything Claire's, of course, I'd love to set aside. Brings me back to my childhood days. All right, this is just, this is a mess. It looks like we're going to have some really pretty pendants in here. Green glass. I'm thinking maybe CZ. We've also got a locket in here. I mean, this is maddening. Look at this beautiful blue pendant. No reading on that one. I don't know if I'm gonna take the time to untangle all this. This is this is wild. Right now we have some skulls, it looks like, tangled into this. These gold little pieces, they're adorable, but they are tangled into everything. It is maddening. Chains can really just really know how to get underneath your skin there. All right, the arrow is gonna go into a lot. Oh, I like this. Beautiful flower pendant. All right, I don't see any markings on there. Let's check. Clasp is magnetic. I'll do this one for $3. All right, it's tangled into itself now. Don't think I see a marking, but let's check with the loop. All right, I do see kind of the coating underneath there. So we are not looking at any silver or any gold. So these could be maybe silver with gold plating. Again, glass. I love all of these little necklaces. They're really cute. Definitely nice resellable items. Just untangling them is going to be, it's going to be a fun time. Let me tell you. Magnet. Okay, it is maybe feeling a little bit magnetic. It's got a little bunny. How fitting for Easter. I hope you all had a wonderful Easter. I got to have my brothers come into town. I have twin older brothers and they are all having kids now. And it is just so exciting. I love having all the babies around. I love my babies and seeing them with their cousins. is just like the best in the world. My brothers and I are pretty close. So we had a wonderful Easter together. I love the lovely little Easter bunny necklace or bunny necklace I should say and I'll do this one for five dollars I have this little cross maybe layered looks to be a layered necklace right, another tangle I'm not going to spend too much time on but it's pretty Best thing about having a magnet is to kind of hit it with that magnet and see if it's worth all that untangling. 
like the crosses on this one. It looks like it's going to be a layered piece. I'm going to put it in a lot. It looks like a broken piece. This wire, of course, is tangled into everything. Same with this yellow piece. I do see some amethyst in here. Chunky amethyst earring. Got some of the coating coming off of it. I am most likely going to put this one in a lot. Looks like there's a brooch in there. Not seeing anything that's screaming high value, though. So we're going to put that in the lot pile. All right, now statement necklaces are hit or miss for me. Personally, I have to really like it to want to sell it. But I actually really like this beadwork in here. Don't see any markings on there. Loving the beads, super shiny. Love the little noises that it makes with the chain link, looks really good. And I'll do this one for $8. All right, love these bracelets. I've gotten a handful of these jeweled, jeweled out, almost like colorful enameled look. Love those. And I like the wire inside make it really sturdy it's not stretchy gorgeous sometimes these can be vintage too i don't i don't think this one's vintage or at least not very vintage i'll do this one for eight dollars some more of those crosses i think the theme today is going to be crosses and chain link i'm going to put that one in a lot is this another? Yep, another Claire's. Those were a staple in my teenage years. Say Avon. Yeah, C1 Avon. I don't think I've seen the C1 before. Almost looks like an anklet as well. Pretty big to be a bracelet. I'm thinking it's an anklet. Snowflake earring. Another earring. I got the gold tone bangle. Looks in pretty good condition. Not magnetic. Some of that plating is coming off of it, but otherwise in good condition. I'll do that one for $1. Lots of those chains and necklaces. Oh, I like this one. A gunmetal gray on there again. I like that turquoise color in there. All right, this says 925 chain. I will take that one. It's a pretty decent looking chain there. Another classic NY necklace, statement necklace. It's missing the stone though, so I'm gonna put it in a lot. I like the green minty colors on there though. Oh, this is a nice heavy bangle. All right, price tag looks like it's torn off. All right, 24 karat and pure silver. Handcrafted workmanship, Ziska's. Jewelry, highest quality, raw materials, 14 karat gold and pure silver. I'm not seeing any silver, but it looks like maybe that's 24 karat gold. I will have to look up that brand. Fairly wide bangle, maybe three inches. So very beautiful. Lovely gold tones in there. Like this pendant. Thought maybe those were connected, but it is not. I'm gonna put that one in a lot. All right. Looks like this is coming apart a little bit. Put that one in a lot as well. Looks like we have a match to the other flower brooch that was tangled in to that. I'll do that one for $1. 
more chain link. All right, we have two matching sets now, the snowflakes. I'll do those for $1. All right, love this necklace. The mother of pearl. Oh, look, and it's got a fun backing on there. All right, I don't see any marks on it. See some of the coat. See some of that plating coming off. Oh, I love that mother of pearl shine. I'll do this one for three dollars. That chain. It's got some wear on it. Another statement necklace. Looks to be intact. I'll do this one for one dollar. I get a lot of statement necklaces from Tennessee. Just tons and tons of earrings and statement necklaces. But there is plenty to resell in this box. And I think, you know, making sure that you go in knowing that these boxes might not have tons of precious metals or name brands. You can't always think that these boxes are going to come in and you're going to, you know, hit gold. Premier Designs, even though we did have some 24 karat gold in here. I'll do this one for $8. But yeah, it's always a treasure hunt with thrifting, right? Like, you never know what you're going to get. Cat that moves. Love those extra details in the designs. I'll do this one for $1. Earring. Some of those tiny bracelets again. I'm going to see if those will fit my daughter. All right, we're already at the bottom of the box, so we're just going to dump it. We actually didn't do too bad on the earring. earrings this week. We got two pairs. All right, lovely angel pin. If I can get it off. Okay, there we go. So you got to release it with the, with the top. I don't see any markings on there. Yeah, no markings. This top just has some ridges on it. Or the backing, I should say. All right, not too bad. All right, this is giving me like a Dior look. But not Dior. I like the, the D's together there. I'll do this one for three dollars. It might also end up in my niece's possession. All right, lots of this like aluminum bendy pendant type of look here. Another colorful statement necklace. Looks to be broke. Oh, well, if it wasn't broken, I just broke it. All right, going to a lot. Oh, I like this bangle. Love the little inlay. You know, you always got to do your research and make sure these aren't, you know, those plastics. That bake light. Lovely. I like the polka dot look on that one. Another bangle. Very magnetic bangle. Going to a lot. All right, maybe like a friendship type of bracelet. Beadwork. Okay, we found another match. I will do this set for $8. Okay, another bangle, going to a lot. Some more rose gold. Let's see. Any markings that I can tell? I'm not seeing any markings. All right, the top part, these ones are magnetic, but down here is not magnetic. It's got some jewels up here as well. Pretty bracelet. I'll do this one for $3. Bold statement earring. 
brooch. All right, this looks nice. Maybe like a mesh design. All right, there is a... Oh, okay, it says T and Co. So Tiffany and Co. 925. It looks like a pretty good stamp, too. All right, it's got the C for T, you know, C in a circle for copyright, T and Co. with a dot, and then 925. I have to show you guys a little glimpse of that. It actually looks really good. It looks straight. Mm. It's not magnetic, so that's another good sign, of course. Got to be careful with the fakes out there. I don't feel any magnet to it, though. All right, I don't feel the magnet on it. Mm. So I've come across a couple designer pieces, of course, in here before. Um, there's always really good fakes out there, but this looks really good. This looks like a good, you know, good design. It looks, you know, well made. The stamp on there looks straight. This, this on here looks straight as well. Usually there's something a little bit off with those fakes. Of course, I will have to do some further testing and some research on it, but this looks really good. And if so, I've seen bangles similar, not quite this type. I don't think I've seen this one before, but I've seen a lot of the Tiffany & Co and the higher end brands and um, these go easily for like $300 resell. So yeah, this could be a very, very good score. And I will let you guys know what I find out. I wish it would, looks pretty small. I don't think it's gonna fit on my wrist. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna force it on there, but gorgeous. And I will definitely be reselling this because it is too small for me. All right, well, that was pretty good. That was, I was thinking, oh, this might be a little, you know, not a bad box, but definitely not too many high-end pieces and not a lot of precious metals. So that was a wonderful surprise at the bottom. All right, Harley Davidson. That's another one that is awesome for resale. This looks like it's probably like a belly button ring. Definitely just find a little backing to go on there. And that's another item that's gonna be great for resale as well. Anything Harley Davidson related is definitely going to be a great item. What's this say? Let's say comfies. Sometimes you got to check those backings of those earrings. We'll give you a name brand on there. Or another belly button ring. We are in belly button ring heaven today. Earring, some more mother pearl, shell, matching set here. Definitely could tell the bubbling, that plating silk, plated, that plated silver on there. Tiny bangle. If I find one more mystery hair in this box, All right, we got tons of belly button rings. I will say those are great for resale as well. This is 925 stamp. Nice hook earring. And I would definitely resell. I sell tons of single earrings. Love the gummy bear design. All right, costume. Got the gold plating on there coming off. I think we had a whole pack of belly button rings in here today. No markings, but let's see if we got a reading on the stone. All right, nothing on there. Okay, well, hey, we found some awesome pieces. I still have a whole, whole chain to untangle. You know, we might find, we might find something else in here. I will take a picture and show you guys what I ended up getting out of here. I think it's going to be a lot of costume pieces. Don't think we're going to find anything 
spectacular, but you never know. And always be sure to untangle all these because you never know what you're going to find inside. All right. So we have potential. We may have found some Tiffany and co some Harley Davidson. We had some Sterling in here, lots of costume pieces that are going to be great for resale and maybe some 24 karat gold as well. And thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to leave a comment on what you guys would love to see for a 5k giveaway. I'm thinking I'll probably do that maybe next week or the week after you guys let me know what you think. And as always, be sure to hit that subscribe button and until next time. <laughs>